Hey guys, how's it going? So today I just want to quickly do a video here on GameStop and Chamath. I'll explain how these two are related and, you know, it's all fun and games right now. GameStop, we'll talk about this in a second. But I think there is something that concerns me and this could be setting a bad tone for some bad habits and we'll talk about that in a second. But anyways, first let's talk about GameStop specifically because this stock has been on fire up 345 percent in just the last what two weeks or so and this is mainly because of a short squeeze now a short squeeze is pretty much when a whole bunch of buyers come in they start buying the stock it pushes the price higher and then short sellers have to cover that short position and that just leads to more buying the way you cover a short position is you buy back shares so that just adds more buying pressure that's what's been happening here with GameStop. You can see this stock has just been popping, you know, up every single day. Even today, it's up another 16%. But, you know, we did reach a high of 120 almost per share. Now we've crashed down 25% from there. But seems like the buying pressure is still alive and well. Now, if you're invested in the markets, it's pretty hard to ignore what's been happening with GameStop because it's been all over the media. Pretty much any financial media source has been talking about GameStop recently. And I mean, for good reason. Look at this. Just look at this. One year performance. GameStop was like close to going out. And now it's up 2000%. So those of you that were buying GameStop back here for like three, four dollars <laughs> now sitting at ninety dollars. Well, congratulations. But now, all of this really, guys, has been driven, if you're not sure, by this Reddit community called Wall Street Bets. If you go through Wall Street Bets, you know, just go to Reddit, Wall Street Bets, you will see thread after thread after thread about GameStop. Right here, you can see four hours ago, you know, Jan 26th. This is the daily thread. This is what they do daily, and this already has 51 thousand comments right and if you scroll through this community it's honestly just like GameStop after GameStop after GameStop post getting thousands of upvotes thousands of comments and guys this is this is absolutely crazy okay so Wall Street bets you want to get a dose of um, some craziness people kind of betting big on these things making millions losing millions it's absolutely insane but these guys have been pushing the market recently. And guys, these Redditors have been absolutely destroying short sellers. You can see here, short sellers lost $1.6 billion in a single day because of Reddit. It's, it's absolutely crazy what's happening right now. And it's pretty much social media versus Wall Street. They're fighting. And right now, social media, the average retail investor like you and I are winning. And these $1.6 billion losses are just like the tip of the iceberg. There's been billions upon billions of dollars lost. There's also a hedge fund here that pretty much went bust, you know. It's, it's, I don't even know what to say. This is something we've never seen before. Um, I, I've been, you know, watching Wall Street bets for many, many years. Just, it's very interesting just to see what these, what these people on there do with their capital. You know, just pure gambling, really. And, with them banding together here to pretty much fight against Wall Street, fight against the short sellers, it's quite remarkable what we're seeing. And this may just be the beginning, guys, because right now it's GameStop, but they're looking for more targets. They're looking for AMC, Express, BlackBerry, Nokia. If you notice, these stocks are also starting to pop, and that's because these short sellers are getting a bit spooked here that they're, Reddit's going to do pretty much what they did to GameStop here and pop these other stocks up much, much higher, resulting in billions of dollars of losses. So a lot of short sellers are panicking right now. They're selling out of their positions, and that's causing a lot of pops prematurely here in these stocks. And who knows, if the Reddit community, if Wall Street Bets does decide to come after these other stocks, we could see them move much, much higher as well. I know BlackBerry is kind of the main one right now after GameStop. Nokia is starting to gain popularity as well. Who knows, we may see some pops here. But it's pretty much these stocks that have been shorted for many, many years. Uh, Reddit still believes that, you know, these companies are good companies, but they've just been beaten down by Wall Street. They're like, well, we're fighting back now. We're, we're going to show, you know, what we're able to do. And so far... You know, it's resulted in billions of dollars in losses for Wall Street. But anyways, getting to the premise of today's video really is about Chamath. So 
Chamath yesterday tweeted, you know, tell me a stock that you want me to throw a hundred or a few hundred thousand dollars into. Try to convince me and I'll do it. And well, it seems like GameStop was the main comment. And that's because I saw some threads actually on Wall Street Bets saying, go to Chamath's Twitter, post GameStop, make sure he sees it. And I guess that worked because check this out. This morning, lots of GameStop talk, like I said. And this ended up in him buying February $115 calls on GameStop. If you look here, he bought it. Uh, he bought 50 calls on GameStop here with a $115 strike. Guys, this may be funny. This is, you know, it's all jokes. And maybe Chamath here wants to side with social media just because he's so against these traditional Wall Street firms that really take advantage of the average investor. And, you know, I, I commend Chamath for that. And I think that he is a great leader in that sense just because he has the say now to actually have influence so it's good to see him you know stand up against typical wall street and kind of speak his mind and kind of stand up for like the regular small guy retail investor but when he makes moves like this it sets a really bad tone i know it's funny like i said but what this really tells us is yolo you know let's go buy gamestop see what happens right guys to him a few hundred thousand dollars is nothing this guy is a billionaire he is a billionaire I don't think people can really fathom the amount of money a billionaire has like a billion dollars try counting to a billion but you know for him to do this it's pretty much like him throwing like a few pennies into the market and seeing what happens right but this sets a tone where hey Chamath is throwing in a couple hundred thousand why can't I throw in you know a few thousand and maybe who knows what happens maybe i'll double or triple my money maybe i'll become millionaire right that's kind of the tone that he's setting here with a post like this and i was really disappointed to see this i funny enough i actually posted um on this as well talking about beyond meat and i was like hey maybe you should look at beyond meat you know you focus on climate change and uh beyond meat is focused on climate change indirectly so that may be a good play for you but of course the Reddit army came in, they talked about GameStop, and that tweet was buried. But anyways, I don't know. I don't like the way that things are going. It's it's fun and games to see Wall Street suffer here with this situation. Because for many, many years, they've just taken advantage of everyone. So it's good to see that. And it's good to see these firms actually lose a ton of money after costing retail investors billions of dollars over the years, right? But... I think Chamath should, you know, like, he he shouldn't be making posts like this. That's just my opinion. I, I don't know. You guys can disagree with me. That's completely fine. You guys can say, okay, this was just kind of a, a fun move for him, and that's fine. But I know a lot of people are going to see this, and they're going to say, hey, Chamath bought this. Maybe I should, too. Maybe I'll go buy some Feb 115 calls as well. I can bet that many people are just going to blindly follow him on this. And guys, remember, to him, a couple hundred thousand dollars it's nothing he's ready to lose this he will probably gain more followers more popularity from this move and that hundred thousand dollar was just like a marketing expense but for others that that money that you throw in your <sighs> chance of recouping that is low uh, honestly like yes gamestop is popping yes gamestop is up another 17 percent will it get back up to 115 maybe maybe but Fundamentally, this company is just running right now on hype. This company is just running right now on Wall Street bets, really, just betting the stock and media covering it. And, you know, everyone wanted to get in on the fun and seeing if they can make a quick buck here, make a couple millions, who knows. But anyways, guys, I don't know. I just wanted to set my um, my expectations here with this. I don't think that this is going to be a long-term winner. I think this stock will probably fizzle back down over time. Once Reddit is done with this and when Wall Street kind of takes control over this again, unfortunately. But for now, I'm just sitting back. I'm enjoying this, you know, back and forth that's happening. And I don't think that it really makes sense to put in a, a bunch of cash here to hopefully ride, you know, things like the 115 Feb calls, which is like a few weeks out. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe Chimat makes 
millions of dollars on this. Everyone who follows him makes millions of dollars on this. And you know what? I hope that's the case. But I'm a realist and I'm just speaking my opinion here. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And if you weren't really aware, uh, Beyond Meat is kind of popping here today. And I was thinking of making a video on that later today. So let me know in the comments. You know, if you want to see a video on Beyond Meat, it'll be one of my typical style videos with my face, of course. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.